for my religion culminating, I chose to look at the question, what happens after we die? And to do that, I chose the symbol of a video game I play called Minecraft. Now, in here, I made a world, and in that world, I made a bunch of different symbols about um, just what happens after we die. And let's go. So previously, I was in the world, and I jumped off a really tall cliff. And this is the game over screen. So I chose this symbol because it pretty much, um, well, it's not answering the question, what happens after we die? But it is the opposite of that. It's life, pretty much. And hold on. It's pretty much life. Like, you go around, you do things, and here's your guy. You just, like, walk on water. So you're pretty much like Jesus. You play the entire game. You can create anything you want, giant mega structures. And it represents life, and there's enemies. It represents, like battles that you have within yourself, like little evils, and depends how well you, equipped you are, you will die or not, and we'll just go over here, and yes, so anyway, so you die, and what you do is you respawn, and here you are in like drifting in between heaven and hell, and life and death and everything, and if you choose this door, it's for Christianity, you, you, are, you b get born, so it's birth. In Hinduism, it's samsara, and in Buddhism, it's reincarnation. I think they call it samsara as well. And on the other side is heaven for the Christians. You attain moksha in Hinduism and go up and become part of Brahma. And in Buddhism, it's called nirvana. And so now we will go up the stairway to heaven. And it's about, I don't know, a minute to walk up these stairs. So I'm going to play Stairway to Heaven for you guys. All right, so now that we're up here, we have uh, three possibilities. If you are Hindu, you go to Moksha. If you're Christian, you go to Heaven. And if you're Buddhist, you go into Nirvana. So let's go into Nirvana first. And in Buddhism, when you die, you don't, nothing happens. You just be because your body was just a container for your soul. And so you don't do anything. You just be up here. And... Um, you know, for me, this is kind of confusing because I always perceived that life after death, it means something, like something happens and you continue like a life after death. But in Buddhism, you just, nothing happens and you're just up here, wherever, not doing anything. And now we leave and go to Hinduism, Moksha. And when you attain Moksha in Hinduism, you break away from the cycle of Samsara, which is rebirth. And you come up here into heaven and become part of Brahma, which is the awesome God. He created everything. He knows all. And pretty much to represent this, I have all the different things in the game, like blocks. There's some bricks, stone, wood. And it's all up here lit. And it represents everything in the game that you can create. And so I thought this was an appropriate symbol to represent the God that created everything. And you just become a part of this. Like you become, and yeah, so I just have like a couple questions. Like, if all lives were reborn constantly, then how were the first people born? Because everyone's reborn, so 
where did they the first ones come from and how does this um, answer the problem of the population increase like more and more people are coming to earth but there's obviously not that many people in uh, samsara unless they're all just like waiting in line or something um, Yeah, but it doesn't mention heaven or hell or eternal suffering or anything, and so this is different than me for me because I was always I was raised up Christianity, so I was always like heaven and hell and everything. But this is like you get reborn each time you die instead of being judged, and well, you still get judged, and then based on your past life that you lived, you either attain moksha and you come up here and become part of Brahma, or you go back into samsara, the cycle of it, and continually go on forever. And now, for Christianity in heaven, you walk into here, and there's the golden gates of heaven. They look more like McDonald's symbols. And Peter, St. Peter, he judges you. He will stand right here. And he looks on his stone tablet at your past life, and if you've been good, if you've been bad. And if you've been bad, you go down here, and you go into hell. And so, there we are, we're going into hell. And in here, there's lava everywhere, eternal suffering, and scary noises. And it's a bad place to be. And so, but we didn't live a bad life. We lived a good life, so we're going to go back. And we're going to go see what heaven looks like. And I don't really have much to say on heaven and hell, because I was raised Catholic, so this is pretty much the social norm for me, so it doesn't mean anything. Up here in heaven, we lived a good life, so we can come here. We live in a, like a golden house. We can go see Jesus every day. And, you know, in our backyard, we just have a giant floating cross up in the clouds, right above the sun coming up. And, yeah, so, sorry. So this is pretty much all the symbols I have. Um, for Hindu, Buddhist, and Christian. And then you go around, you live your life, and this is what happens after death. Um, again, the common ground that I found between the three religions that I compared, Hindu, Christian, and Buddhist, was that eventually we all die and are judged on our actions that we had on earth. And depending on our actions, we are sentenced to, in Hinduism and Buddhism, we are reborn. And that is kind of like punishment. We are sentenced to live out our lives again and again, repeatedly. And we have no knowledge of our past lives. And um, in heaven, obviously, the bad form would be going into hell, which is a very bad place to be. There's fire everywhere, and you're pretty much burning for all eternity. And if you've been judged and you had a good life... <clears throat> in Hindu, you become part of Brahma, and that is very good because then you essentially created all of Earth. In Buddhism, you just are, you are up there, I guess. Maybe you can see the events of what's happening on Earth. I'm not entirely sure. And then in Christianity, you go to heaven, and you live out the rest of your life, pretty much. Um, and you just live out in heaven. And you continue your lives pretty much as you were, except you have everything you could ever want, like golden houses, food forever. You can go and talk with Jesus, confess to him, even in heaven. And, yeah. So, um, I came back. I just got some quotes real quick. Um, so, in, for Christianity, I have a quote from the Bible, and it's, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. It's Luke 23, 43. So that's Jesus talking with Luke and saying, 
Um, for now, you're living down on earth, but one day you will be with me up in heaven, and you can live out your life as you do. And when you're judged in Buddh Buddhism, to see if you've lived a good life, they just follow the simple five kind of like commandments for Christianity, but um, they're called precepts. And they're pretty simple, pretty basic. It's do not kill, do not steal, do not lie, do not misuse sex, and do not consume alcohol or other drugs. Now the last one is because um, intoxications can cloud the mind and have some, and some have induced included as drug other methods of divorcing ourselves from reality. So it's not good to misuse those. And so they just say, well, since bad things happen when you use them, just don't use them at all and it can't happen. So it's pretty much abolished from Buddhism and Hinduism.